Hey, I'm Wesley. This video is going to be a little different from the previous videos that I've uploaded on this channel. I think in 2019 I'm going to broaden this channel to not only include software development and programming related videos, but to also include other software tutorials and tech related videos. This video is going to be about how to edit and export a video for IGTV. Now if you're not familiar with what IGTV is, IGTV is Instagram's new video platform and it's marketed as being mobile first and what that means practically is that uh, the app is designed for videos to be watched vertically. So instead of watching them like this, you're watching videos like this. I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve but a lot of these concepts will also be applicable to Adobe Premiere or Final Cut. Let's get right into it. First things first, you're going to need to make sure that you record your videos vertically. Now you could record your videos horizontally and just chop off the, uh, the middle section, uh, but the problem with that is that you're losing a lot of uh, resolution that you could get back by just rotating the camera sideways. So, uh, in DaVinci Resolve, if you create a new project, uh, on the project management page, just double click Untitled Project. Alright, so before you do anything, you're going to want to set your timeline, frame rate, and resolution settings. Once your project's frame rate settings have been set, you can't change it after you've imported media, so you want to do that before you do anything else. So open project settings. Um, from timeline resolution, um, we're going to go to custom. And then here, we'll uh, specify the um, height pixels and width pixels for um, an IGTV video. So. 1920 by 1080 would mean 1920 pixels across and 1080 pixels down and that's standard or that's high definition video. Uh, so in order for us to get a timeline resolution that's vertical we're going to switch those two numbers. So now we'll have um, 1080 pixels across and 1920 pixels down. All right. Now, as of the time of this recording, IGTV's documentation says that the video must have a minimum of 30 frames per second. I know a lot of people like doing 24 frames per second for a more cinematic feel, but according to the post that I read, 30 frames per second is the minimum, so that's probably the safest to go with. Playback frame rate, you'll want it to match. That's going to be uh, how, what uh, frame rate the video is played back in DaVinci Resolve. And then video format, uh, this is just for video monitoring, so I think this is a lot of times used if you have an external monitor. Um, but you can just set it to 1080p 30. And then what I would recommend doing is when you have these settings, go to presets and save as um, IGTV. Um, I've already uh, created that preset here. Save. All right. Now you import your media, so I'm going to import these three files. Open. And from here you can just edit your video like you would edit any other video. <clears throat> you can drag your clips onto the timeline, you know, resize them, do whatever special effects you want to do. We'll just add those three clips like that. Um, so then once you're finished with your edit, go over to the Deliver uh, tab, choose a file name, <coughs> a destination location. Alright, so then here's um, where you're going to need to pay attention and be careful with the settings you use. Uh, IGTV requires that you upload an MP4 file. So. Um, I'm on a Linux machine, and so I have to do jump through a couple other hoops, but there should be MPEG-4 file uh, settings um, if you're using Windows or Mac um, to export. But I'm going to come in here and go to, I'm going to keep it as QuickTime, and go to MPEG, MPEG-4 video. I can still set those settings. Um, and then under Resolution, I'm going to go to Custom. And type in the custom resolution that we set 1080 by 1920. Keep the frame rate at 30, 
quality I'm going to set to best. Click Add to Render Queue. All right, and then go ahead and start the render. <clears throat> All right, once your render is complete, you should be able to then upload your uh, video to IGTV. Now, if you're on a Linux computer, which I am, there are a couple other hoops you need to jump through. So first of all, you need to make sure that you've got the MP4 codecs on your machine. Open the video that you just exported in VLC. So go to that video, that file. All right. So I'm playing it in VLC. I'm going to pause it real quick and then do Control R to convert, that's the same as go into media, convert, save. I'm going to add the file that I just exported. Click convert, save. Uh, and the settings you're gonna wanna use are use the MP4 MOV encapsulation. Under video codec, make sure video is checked and choose MPEG-4. Bit rate uh, at, I would recommend around 12,000 uh, kilobits per second. Um, frame rate, same as source. Uh, and then keep resolution as auto. Audio codec, make sure audio is checked and choose MPEG-4 audio AAC. And set it at 128 kilobits per second. It's usually good uh, sample rate at 44, uh, 44,100 hertz. So then save that. Choose a destination location and change the extension to MP4 and start the conversion. Now, if you're using a Mac or a Windows, DaVinci Resolve can export um, directly to the correct MPEG, MP4 format that IGTV expects. But on a Linux machine, um, VLC is the, is the tool that you're going to need to use most likely to convert it to the correct uh, format and codec. So once you've converted that, you've, you've got, uh, you should end up with an MP4 video that is ready for upload to IGTV. So I hope you thought found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just leave a comment and let me know. Be sure to subscribe uh, and we'll see you in the next video.